Greetings from across the galaxy. It is I, Woo's the Collector, bringing you episode 48 of the Collector's Geeks and Freaks show. By the way, happy Mother's Day out there to my Collector's Geeks and Freaks fans. Yep, any of you moms who put the effort in, single or otherwise, have a great day. With that entitled, had to wait till Lady Woo's got back, but I finally got to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 this weekend. Holy fuck. One of the best Marvel movies in the series so far, in all the Marvel movies, top five, must see in theaters, try to see it in XD and 3D like I did. And why did I use that word? Listen for that one F word in the film. The only Marvel movie, little piece of trivia for you, to have the F word in it. Here's an episode, my episode with the F in it. Go see it, it is woos worthy. That it goes through Rocket's origin. You get to meet an, a new villain who he's worse, I would say, almost as bad as Thanos and Kang. He's, he's terrible. He's a nasty person who does nasty things to people. And you see what happened to Rocket. And you see what why Rocket became who he was. And that's pretty much the story in... I'm going to tell you, it's supposed to be the last one, but sit till the end. You'll know this already if you're a Marvel fan. Sit till after the credits roll. It's well worth it. All right. Yeah, go see it in the theater. Yep, I'm going to see it again. Guardian of the Galaxy, Volume 3, one of the best Marvel movies ever in my opinion. All right. So, you got my review there. No spoilers except for the other, the little F you. So, um, other than that, small screen, finished up Sweet Tooth on Netflix. If you haven't watched Sweet Tooth, there's going to be three seasons. I've already watched the first two. Lady Woo's got me into it. And come into the, um, when I got into the second season, I got, I had to watch. So, it was one of those ones I, I couldn't stop. Even when Lady Woo's had to leave to take the Wooslings down south, um, I had to keep watching, and I watched the end of this, and it was a great season. This I, I like this season best so far. Um, so if you haven't watched Sweet, Sweet Tooth and you have Netflix, check it out. Um, still watching Doom Patrol. I'm in about six, seven episodes. Funny as heck. One of the funnier DC um, hero movies. I also, because I can't, I've been having problems trying to watch the last couple ads, uh Picard because the Paramount keeps locking up and I can't get in. All I get is a, a Paramount screen. I can't log in ever. So I got to still watch the last uh, few episodes, couple episodes of Picard. But since because I that was just aggravating me and I just didn't have the patience to finish or to, to fix it. Sorry. Um, I started watching season three of DC's Titans on HBO Max, where that's also where Doom Patrol is. Titans is probably one of my favorite DC series so far between HBO and CW. Um, I, I, it's a great show. Uh, the beginning of this season, it, it follows Death in the Family. If you've ever read the Batman comics, it's really good. Check it out if you can. Um, other than that, for the small screen, yeah. I haven't been watching much of anything, as you know. A lot of times, started doing some cataloging and cleaning up in here finally. Hopefully, within the next week, Lady Woo's goes again. She's going to go help one of her siblings move away. So, I am here in charge of the dogs once more. The the Woo's hounds um, and Princess Nibbles is back to her old self. That little dog, it, she's got my heart. My shriveled little collector's heart. <laughs> she, so, yeah. Everything's good. So, um, also, what I got, I got three Amazon orders this week. I'm going to share with you. But I wanted to talk about, first, Amazon Shopper Panel. It's an app. Look it up on your, um, your iPhone. I don't know if they have on Google Play. And you can join this. And they give you points for doing surveys or little things just for joining. I got like uh, seven seven dollars right off the bat. Did a couple surveys, so I got like up to eight dollars and thirty cents. 
and it goes into your account every month. You get an Amazon gift card. So with that gift, that eighty dollars and thirty some odd cents, I will show you a pop that I only paid a dollar thirty two for. So yeah, it, to me it was worth it. And you turn on this thing where it monitors the, their ads on your phone, and you get a two dollar um two dollars right to your account every month. So if you do the surveys and all that, I'm waiting to see. So far, it's been it was worth eight dollars and thirty cents to me so far. So another way that was the collector saves and just helping you guys save too. How do you think I built such a massive collection? I'm just frugal with my collecting. In the beginning, not so much, but now as the collection's grown so big, I have to be selective, and I I'm a cheap I'm a cheap bastard. What can I say? But let's get to it. Three Amazon package, one pre-order. One I, I ordered that I wanted for a while, and it was a very reasonable price. That's the one I paid $1.32 for. And then one that also went on sale just recently. So we got two smaller. These are all Fungo Pops. This guy sounds like he's got a little bit of packaging in it. I'm not sure which one of these it is. Yeah. Uh, at least they put some some um, paper in there to hold it okay so this is a pre-order this is Oswald the luckiest rabbit from Disney's 100 there was a chance of a chase for this guy so that's why I pre-ordered him um, if I see him drop in price I might try to order him again because I'm always looking for the chases but I picked them up and I think the Disney 100 are gonna do well in the secondary market along the lines but, yep, that's Oswald the Rabbit from Disney. I picked him up. So that means this is the one I paid $1.32 for. And I believe he, came, he comes in a, a protective package. So I should leave the um, Amazon seller a good review if everything's kosher in here. Um, it doesn't sound like they put much packing in it. But, oh, that's okay. Look at this. All right. Whoever this Amazon seller is. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, wow. Yeah, it comes in a in another a gift box, it looks like. Huh. All right, these guys are definitely getting a good review from me on Amazon. As long as... Oh, learn how to open a box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks fun. This is Carnage from Let There Be Carnage. Um, Venom. The second Venom movie. I couldn't find any of these in the, in the store ever. So I've been wanting to grab him. So I grabbed him. $1.32. What beats that? You know? And he comes with a, a protective case, which they didn't take the plastic off. But I'll, I'll do that later. All right. Last one. No packing. Box is a little squished. I'm a little, little leery about opening this one. This is another pop. This is another Disney pop. It was on sale. And this one, I've been waiting for it to go on sale. Because it's one of my favorite rides there. Okay, yeah. Not, nothing in there. Let's check it out and see if it's okay. Right, so. Little crease. That's normal. Not from the shipping. But... Overall, not bad. Picked it up for half price, under half price, under 20 bucks. Space Mountain and Mickey Mouse. This is by far, still probably to this day, one of my favorite rides at Disney World down in Orlando. Yes, me and um, Lady Woo's are big. Whenever we go on vacation, it's a theme park. We're, we're big kids. I don't think we're ever going to grow up. We're getting grown-up tendencies now that we're getting older and doing better than we used to. But, yeah, there's a little backstory to here. And the whole Disney World thing started for me is because my mom took us when we were younger. A couple times that I can remember. With my grandmother, my aunt, you know, a little family trip. But the, I was too young to ride it when we first went down the second time I was able to ride it, but it was broken. And then some other time when I went with Chris, I wasn't able, my lady woos, <laughs> sorry, um, I wasn't able to ride it. So it was like the fourth time I went to Disney World, I finally got to ride Space Mountain. 
And today, it's still one of my favorites. It's, it was, like, denied to me. And it took me so long to get there. But, yeah, Space Mountain, under 20 bucks off of Amazon. Shoddy packaging on this one, guys. But, yeah, um, this is an Amazon exclusive, so I'm quite happy with this one. All right. Yeah, so um, I'm going to see what I can fit in this week on the small screen. Don't think I'm going to be doing anything on the big screen next weekend because Lady Woos will be helping her sibling move away. Then we still have another week with nothing on the big screen. Then starting in June, I got two movies already pre-ordered tickets. Didn't get my seats on the, the first one. And I can't, I will not revolve, ev evolve. <laughs> Um, I will not share my seat numbers. Those are mine and Lady Woo's. Yes, I have to try to always buy the first seats. Um, but I got Spider-Man into, uh, whatever the new Spider-Man, I'm sorry, it's, it's slipping my mind. The new Spider-Man movie, not across the universe, uh, Spider-Man, across the Spider-Verse. So, um, I, that's the, the June... The first week of June, and then the second week of June. I'm hoping this will revamp the franchise Transformers Rise of the Beast. I've always loved the animals, and especially the Insecticons, which it looks like we're going to get to see those. I had the Insecticons, and I still, that's one of those things that I had growing up. It was one of my favorite toys, and like, I, I wish. I didn't sell everything I did when I first started collecting, like the statues and stuff, all my original Star Wars and Transformer toys, but I did. And that's what got most of the statues and stuff. But yeah, I kicked my butt sometimes that I sold that stuff. But it is what it is. It's part of collecting. You got to decide when to let stuff go and when to get new stuff. But guys, that's an episode. Once again, stay safe. Happy hunting. And this is Woo's the Collector signing off.